G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. This is a quick video looking at how to work out the area inside a triangle. That is, one of these nice two-dimensional shapes with three sides here. It's important before we start, I guess, to work out how we describe our area, what sort of units we use. Because it's a two-dimensional shape, we just can't use standard distance units. We have to use a special type of unit, uh, one that describes two dimensions, okay, uh, two-dimensional shapes. So rather than just having one meter, we actually have a meter by a meter measurement which is used, which is called, say, a meter squared. This could also go for inches squared, an inch by an inch, or miles squared, a mile by a mile. But we actually use these square units to describe the amount of square space inside here, okay? Or the amount of space inside here. So let's just launch into a few examples. So the example I have here is we have a triangle that has a side length we could say is three meters, a side length of four meters, and a side length of five meters. To work out the area of a triangle, I'm just going to show you how a formula is derived. We will give you a formula, but I'm just going to show you how we've got that formula. You can see this triangle here. We can extend this triangle out, and so we can make it into a rectangle. Okay, so we could have a side that's parallel to here that comes out three, and a side that also comes out four that goes over here. And you can see what we have here is what we end up with is we end up with a rectangular shape. Okay, how would you go about working out the area of a rectangle? Well, that's pretty simple. You would go the area is equal to the length times the width. And that would be nice and easy. We would say the length is equal to four. We would say the width is equal to three. And then we would multiply through and go, okay, we have this area of 12 meters squared. But we have a bit of a problem here because we are not dealing with a rectangle, we're dealing with a triangle. But pretty simple, right? Because what you'll notice is this triangle is half the size of this rectangle. So for all of this, what we really just need to do is we need to just divide our answer by two, okay? So we divide this part by two, and then we go four times three divided by two, and our answer divided by two, and what we'd end up with is the area of our triangle, which is half the rectangle, it's six meters squared. So we can end up with a formula which is a little bit uh, different to the rectangle formula, and it's written as follows. The area of a triangle is equal to the base times the height divided by two. And you're gonna see there's a bit of a difference here why we use base and height instead of length and width. And I'll show you this in a second why this is important, but it's sort of the same sort of thing. We have a base, we have a height, and we've divided by two. Okay, so pretty simple. But the reason we're actually doing this is as follows. Um, length and width. Well, pretty much are we using base and height? What it actually tells us we are going to have to use a base here, and we use the height from that base. The, the perpendicular goes straight up, and we have this height here. We could also use this base here as 5. It would be equally as valid where we would actually use a height that would come off perpendicular like this. And we could actually go base times height, and it would give us a similar sort of area. And that's why we use this particular uh, formula rather than just length times width divided by two. Let's have a look at a couple more examples. Okay, in this example here, we have a triangle. It looks a little bit different. It has a base of four centimeters and a height of three and a half centimeters. So you could probably easily work out the area in centimeters squared, but let's do that. Okay, so the area is equal to the base here, which is four centimeters. This is multiplied by the height, which is 3.5 centimetres. And this whole lot is divided by two. So what do we have here? Four centimetres by 3.5 centimetres, well that is equal to 14 centimetres squared. Divided by two, our answer, this is seven centimetres squared. It's pretty simple, right? Working out the area of a triangle is very, very easy. This is one thing to watch out for, and you may want to be aware of this. Say, for instance, we'd started this, and I'd said that we were not dealing with 3.5 centimetres, we were dealing with 35 millimetres. It's important that if you're working out the area of anything, you get the units the same first. So we're trying to work out our answer in centimetres squared, we would change both of these to centimetres. We wouldn't just go four centimetres times 35 millimetres because we would get the wrong answer and we wouldn't have these standardised units to work with. We would have changes across to 3.5 centimetres first. Just watch out for that. So let's just go through one other type of example of a triangle that you might get. Okay, for the final example, we have this particular shape here. Uh, it's a bit of a strange looking triangle. It's an obtuse triangle. They look a little bit different, but you work them out exactly the same. You get the base, you multiply it by the height, you divide it by two. And the reason this works is you could actually draw 
I could, you draw in a rectangle here, you could draw this line that went parallel to this line here, and you could draw this line which was parallel to this line down here, and you'd end up with this particular shape here, which is a parallelogram. Now, a parallelogram, you work out by just going base times the height. We're working at half a parallelogram, so we're going to go base times height divided by 2. All right, so uh, let's work it out. Pretty simple. Uh, okay, so the base here, this is in inches, and we're going to be working this out in square inches. So to work out the area here, we have the base, which is 2 inches. Okay, so 2 inches. This is going to be multiplied by the height, which is 3 inches. And the whole lot is going to be divided by 2. So 2 inches times 3 inches is 6 inches squared. We're going to divide that by 2. Our answer, 6 divided by 2, is 3 inches squared. So that's how you work out the area of triangles. If you like the video, please remember, hit the like button and comment. If you want to make a comment, you're always welcome. Anyway, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.